I'm Turnock O'Brien. I'm Carlo Senior Football Manager. I've lived all my life in Carlo. I'm a true Carlo and uh, I've been involved in football since I was a child. I think, yeah, we're a sports mad nation. There's no doubt about that, yeah. yeah. Um, there's always a great atmosphere of games in, in Ireland. Uh, I'm pretty top of the GA now. And we have some great supporters. I mean, the great thing about sport in Ireland is there's no segregation and spectators mix with each other, you know, so there's always great banter. Uh, also, I think uh, we're more inclined to be, uh, you know, friendly banter between supporters. It's not um, extreme. Uh, we're very passionate about our sport, but we don't carry to the extremes that you would see maybe in other sports in other countries. Uh, it's all fairly civilized, and uh, while we're very emotional, you know, at matches and so on, but uh, I think we keep it in check. Obviously, our native sport, like which is very important, was part of our identity. Uh, but again, I think it comes back to, you know, this local uh, rivalries and, and uh, tribalism, the GEA, like where, you know, you really see it even at junior football level, even where, you know, teams get really, really worked up over victories and losses and uh, wanted to get one over on the neighbouring club and neighbouring parish and, you know, uh, waiting a whole year maybe to get your, your revenge if you've lost a game or uh, try to keep them down if you can, you know. And it was great crack and rivalry between clubs, you know, and we take it very seriously at times. But at the back of it all, I think uh, we all respect each other. And uh, I think that's the great thing about the GA is that, you know, it's a tremendous uh, bond between everybody. I think we have a great respect for, for what happens all across the country. And uh, I think uh, we recognise that it's a very important part of being Irish. Well, I was born into it and it's a huge part of my life and, you know, to say, you know, men aren't emotional, but uh, when it comes to sport, uh, I think it I think it, <laughs> it drags something out of us all, like, and uh, we were very passionate about it. Uh, I love the GA because, really, it's, I suppose it's tribal, you know, it's us against them over there and pride in your own place is very, very important to us and it's nice to get the bragging rights over to rival clubs and rival counties and, uh, you know, those rivalries are a huge part of the GA and really uh, they add to the kind of the rich tapestry of, of the association and uh, I, I just I just love going to games and love being involved. The GA uh, supporters, as they mingle together, they mix together, it's more uh, more family oriented I'd say, you know, uh, you know, people look forward to summer days going off to family maybe with a packed lunch in the back of the car there and it's a day out and uh, they love the banter uh, with you know opposing supporters while in soccer it's it's much more about I suppose uh, you know segregated and both sides are you know maybe chanting against each other and uh, there's a lot of a lot of that's uh, kind of an, a an unsavory side to some uh, soccer support, I would think, uh, where it becomes, you know, abusive towards the opposition, and I don't like that. But uh, having said that, some of the great occasions are, are magnificent. I mean, Liverpool in the last few weeks there have had unbelievable support, and uh, I'm sure it must be a huge uh, thrill to be in Anfield for one of those nights. Yeah, I am fanatical. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look, I, I live and breathe the GAA, and I have no real interest in other sports really now I would watch some sports but uh, only maybe to you know maybe to learn from from other sports but uh, I, I, I've been at very few other sporting events apart from GA and uh, look I, I just love summer Sundays going to matches and I'd go anywhere in Ireland for a match I mean I've, I've travelled the length and breadth of Ireland to go to practice games even so the most fanatical thing I saw being done would have been in Croke Park actually uh, I remember a good few years ago when the Cusick stand was there I remember guys getting up to the roof of the Cusick stand walking along the top of the very top of the roof of the Cusick stand so high up like and so terrifying to watch uh, but that was the days before health and safety really kicked in you know and lads did stupid things and lads you sit on the back wall of Hill 16 and the back of the canal end and there's a huge drop down the far side I actually sat the back of the canal end myself for a Wexford and Cork Allard and Hurling final I think the GA is unique because it is uh, very much uh, volunteer laid and players are amateurs and I think our supporters respect that, that these guys are doing this for nothing. Uh, they do it purely for the pride in the jersey, pride in their own people and that is very unique in, in sport nowadays, you know, I mean top class sport nowadays is really all about money and uh, there's very little loyalty from players, you know, they'll go where to get the most money and uh, where they're maybe guaranteed more success. 
Whereas with the GA, you know, some of the best players in the country are playing on some of the weakest sides, but they would never dream of looking to play with the more successful teams. And I think that that sense of identity and where you're from is so much uh, a part of the GA that you do, just don't get it in other sports. I've been to American football games and uh, while they're great occasions and it's fantastic to see the spectators there tailgating and uh, you know, but and, and huge crowds of those games. Like, but it doesn't have the same atmosphere to me as as uh, GA games.